Hello guys and welcome to another Pokemon opening, see? I have some boxes, this is from the new set Silver Tempest, and I am looking forward to seeing what we get. I am a helicopter swas, 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 swas. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to another Pokemon opening. This time we are opening Silver, Silver Tempest. Tempest. If you guys happen to miss the opening of Paradigm Trigger that I last did, this is pretty much going to contain a lot of the cards that are in the Japanese set, now translated over to the English one. You can already see I have two of the build and battle sets, so what these do is these have four packs inside of them each, and on top of that I have an additional three packs per, so we've got 14 packs to go through. Pretty much that half booster box experience I'm looking forward to going through this thing and seeing what we get. Take a look at the pack art before we do those. So we've got the Reg Eleki, Reg Eleki, Reg Eleki, something like that. We've got the Lugia as the next one. We've got the Alolan Vulpix. This is some really nice pack art as well. We've got the Lugia again by the looks of things. We've got the Reggie Drago and Reg Eleki again. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode. I mean, if you do, you know exactly what to do. I don't want to waste much time talking though at the start. We've done the build and battle so many times. We know what these are all about. You get like a small promo card as well with them. So it's going to be sick to see what we get. Trusty scissors are coming back. So let's go ahead and surgically do this thing. And by surgically, I'm I mean, literally, like, jam this thing in and, uh, you know, do this up. This is, why, this is why I failed my medical course, guys. Let's get the wrapping off this thing, and we're just gonna get going with this straight away. We, uh, I guess know what to expect. We're gonna open this thing up. Boom. Wait, it's inside of a box. Boom. Nice little deck box as well. Let's go. Boom, we're gonna open this up again. So many booms. What's going on with the booms today? Oh, I can already see what we got inside. All right, here is our first Silver Tempest promo. I've never seen this guy before. Archeops. There you go. You see him shimmering away in the packet with the nice little print with the Silver Tempest. I always like that touch. Looks really nice. I don't know what the promos are for this set, nor do I really mind too much. We're just going to pop this guy to the side. The main attraction, though, is, of course, opening the packs that we've got inside. We've got two Lugia and two Alolan Vulpix. That, talk about variation. They, they know no one wants the Reggie Drago and Regaleki deep down. We're going to start, though. I'm just going to open these four packs, see what we get inside of them. As I said before, this is Silver Tempest. Let's go ahead and do this thing. I am looking forward to the English set version of this. There is going to be that old art Lugia chase card, which just about everyone wants to get, as always. Can't really blame them either, so let's get rid of the code card. And and we do the usual card trick. It is one, two, three, four to the back. And let's get going with this thing. Get the train rolling. Starting out with a steel energy. All right, Pokemon gonna steal my money. It's <laughs> foreshadowing, oh gosh. Next up, we got the Dracloak. Evolves into the Draplox, if I'm correct. We've got the trainer, Serena. And we've got the Archen. Okay, I assume that must be the unevolved form of the promo card we got right there. We can actually see that. Working through, we got the Beldum. All right, oh, that artwork is kind of nice. I didn't I didn't see that one in Silver Tempest, so that's cool. There's our Stunfisk. There he is, Electric type. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. We got the Vulpix walking along. It looks like some kind of wall. It's almost like acting like a cat. We see you. We got the Snorrent chilling in the snow, the Fletchling, and then we go next. Whoa! First pack, we get the Radiant Serena. Dang, I ain't ever seen this Pokemon, bro. She's just enjoying herself in the flower field, and she gets a Radiant card. Uh, all right, I see that one. And behind this one, we have a regular Melotic. Wow, first pack in. We hit one of the Radiants straight out the bat. You can't be mad. It's a brand new hit, and it's my first of a pack, so place you down gently. Let's go on. Let's see what else we can get. No idea what the pull rates are for this set. I don't know if it's going to be higher than usual or the same. I guess once we get the booster box and stuff like that, then we'll finally know. Okay, and I spoiled the surprise. I need to remember, open it this side. If you guys don't know, basically, if you get a code card with the whiteboard, it means that you're probably not going to get a hit unless there's something in that Radiant slot. So we got the Psychic Energy, we got the Behiem, the Candice again, <coughs> we got the Glalie, Sandy Gast, the Relicanth. We've seen most of these now in uh, when I opened the Paradigm Trigger, the Halucha, the Rufflet, we got the Vulpix one more time, Reverse Hollow Panita, and on the end, we've got that Zygarde, uh, which I still think is crazy intimidating. You can see like some kind of, like, I don't, I don't know what you'd call that thing. Some kind of light energy bursting off in the back right there. Here we go, down with pack number three. I think this set might have the Radiant Alakazaman as well, which if so, like, please give me. Or to the back, and we flip this guy over. We start off with that fighting energy. Who we find today, huh? We've got the Crocorock, the Clang, the Lance, the Dreepy. That's cool, man. That's some nice artwork right there. We've seen the Vulpix a lot of times, it feels like. Amolga, Chimchow, we've got the Buneri. Here we go in our reverse. We've got that reverse hollow identity right there. And on the end, we have a regular bravery. And this brings us down already to our last pack from the Builder Battle. It's a very, very condensed experience. That's what I am going to say, definitely, when it comes to Build and Battle. You don't get a huge experience, but just enough to, you know, dip your toes in the water. And maybe you're going to get stupidly lucky. I was thinking about it. Like, I've pulled some good cards when it comes to Pokemon, but never have I pulled, like, the top one or the second highest one in the set. Well, actually saying that, in Chilling Rain, I did pull the, um, the Galarian Moltres. That was a nice hit with the alternate art. So let's 
Let's go. We got the Stone Journey. The, the what? The Araquin? Uh, 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 Next card, unidentified fossil. We've got the Spinder looking very span, like very dizzy. We've got that Pikachu. There we go. We see it in the English art. We've got the Noibat. Togedimaru. I gotta learn that one. I, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Like, I really haven't. Sandal. We've got that reverse hollow Metagross. And on the end here, we have what looks to be... It is a hollow. It's a hollow... Ariados. You know, I think what we're going to do is tear into our next build and battle right here, and then we'll also get the extra packs on the side all lined up, and we're just going to rain through them. Pop this sucker open. What do we get? Do we get a different promo? Ooh, we get the Rapidash. That's probably going to be one of the highest ones up, right? With the unique artwork. Wow, look at the artwork. Holy crap. Illustration is done by Oki. We see that very nice style. It almost looks like you could you could see that on someone's wall hanging up, bro. All right, four more packs. Here we go. Let's look at these pack arts. So this one gave us one of every single one. What was with that other one, huh? Go four to the back. Oh my god. Are we seeing? Are we seeing that damage, bro? I ain't even opened these cards and they already got a chip in them. What's that all about? We got, we got the Clang, we got the Crocorock, the Anorith, we got the Swirlix, the Miani, or the Ma wait, hold up, the Marini. There we go. In Diddy following that up, we got the Bow Toy. Sunken, our reverse is gonna be. It's the reverse holo Victini, and on the end here, we have a regular Frostless. Here we go, start with that Psychic Energy. Then we got the Regenerative Energy. Then we've got the Unidentified Fossil. Like, what the freak was that streak right there? We see that? Emolga, Beldum, we got the Stunfisk again, Volk, Volpix, Snorunt, the Sandal, and on the end here, we have the Miss Major. So I kind of raced through that one. Here we go, come on, there's got to be at least one other hit within some of these things, man. So far, we've only had one hit, and I think this is my seventh pack, so that's probably about the right pace, I would think. So we got the Steel Energy, the Toxic Croak, Professor Laventon chilling in the field. We got Lance chilling, not in the field in an office. We got Routes, Pikachu again, Noibat, Togedimaru, the Sandile. Here we go. All reverse hollow Dragonite. And on the end after this one, we have a another one. Here we go. Last pack from these then. This is the water energy. We got the Furuso girl. We got the low pony. I literally didn't know what I was saying right there. We got that quad stone, the one that's like crumbling apart. The fan fee. We got the Litten, Rufflet. I haven't actually seen any of those V-Star trainer cards, though. They haven't translated. Maybe I haven't pulled one yet. Fennekin coming up there. Then we've got the Durant. We got the Reverse Hollow Wallace. And on the end here, the Cal Caldeo. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> so far, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. We've got six packs left. Uh, my thought process is probably don't upload this video. This can be one of the problems when it comes to opening packs. I don't want to give you guys content where there's just nothing at all that we find in a set, you know? So it kind of sucks. Sometimes it's like, even though you get everything that you're ready to open with, you just pull nothing, bro, and you can't upload that video. Darkness Energy. We we got the worker coming up right there. We got the Sunflora. We see you. We see you. Primordial Alta. Then we got the Indidi, the Miani, Miss Drevis. We're seeing a couple of these artworks duplicate. There's a new one. We got that Swablu. Got the Swalix next. Then we've got this dude with the Araquin Aquanid. I don't know. And then we've got that Zygarde again. Spoiled it by accident again. We've got nothing. So we're just going to run down this one. I think we've. Oh my god! Oh my god, where did that come from? Hey, Judge, how are you doing? This is the thing, you can't judge anything. Oh, there we go. Hey, we'll take that trainer gallery 25. All right, we see that one. That's probably going to be our biggest hit for the day. We got the Murkrow, the Beldum. I mean, we've seen all of these other artworks already. The Fanfi is a new one. We got the Melotic. We got one of those V-Star cards. Archon, Clang, and the Clay Doll. All right, so we got one big hit. We did it, man. Here we go. Alolan Vulpix time. Don't spoil the surprise. Don't spoil the surprise. I really wish they would somehow change the color of the code card on the back. I, I don't really know how they could do that, though. I think it comes down to, like, the way the ink is weighed or something. I, I don't really know the science behind it, nor do I really uh, want to do the research. I just want to open Pokemon. Talking about opening Pokemon, we start out with the Grass Energy. Then we've got, oh, we got the Venomoth coming in. Okay, we see you. Dragonair. Okay, now we're going through like a kind of Gen 1. I'm going back in time. Wallace, that fan feet. Now we just pull straight back out. Litten, Rufflet, the Fennekin. Got the Durant coming through. Oh, Duralord on VMAX. Okay. Holy crap, are you kidding me? We pulled one of these bad boys. Wow, this is the first one I've ever pulled of the uh, the black and gold. Duralude on VMAX, very, very nice. Yo, I can't be mad at this now. Wow, and after that, oh my, it's a double. The Reggie Drago Vista, holy crap, here we go. These last, these extra packs, they have been the redeemer. Three packs left. Let's see, is there going to be anything else within these? Have we used up all of our luck just right there? I guess we're going to find out real soon. One, two, three, four to the back, and let's go. I've never been too lucky, though, when it comes to the uh, kind of build and battle stuff. Never really pull any of the, the biggest crazy hits like that. Can do sometimes in the booster boxes, but I got to go digging, man. Like, you got to dig deep for that stuff. Got the Droopy Vulpix for the 88th time. There's the Amolga, the Chimchow. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Radiant Alakazam. Hey, this is just turn this whole thing around, man. 
gorgeous card. You know, this Pokemon was actually banned for a while. I can't remember why it was a lawsuit based within it. So good to see Alakazam back. And behind this, we have, we got a hollow, we got big old puppy pants, Medicham. Two radiant hits though. Dang, Alakazam. I like that one. That even though I've got some good hits, this might be my favorite one so far. Two packs left. Let's see with the Regaleki first one. The other packs are Regaleki too. One, two, three. Three, four, I literally got confused right there. Flip it over. We've got the electric to begin. We've got the gym trainer, the curlier. We've got the Torah cat, the fungus, Sandy Gas. Come on, Relicanth, Howlucha, Rufflet, Venomoth, Reverse Hollow. And behind that, we have a regular Victini. So we have one single pack left now. Come on, let's see. Is this one going to be the one that redeems everything? I, I don't know. I ain't going to lie. This is it, guys. Our last pack. So we do the trick. One, two, three, four. And that puts out whatever's at the back to the back. What? That puts our rarest card to the back. Okay, we got the water energy. Oh, cool. We got the Jinx artwork. All right, hold up. Appreciation time. Very funky, very psychedelic. We love to see it. Here we go. We got Brandon coming up behind. Oh, that's nice with the Altaria. That looks pretty special. We got the Amolga, Baldum, Sunfist. It's amazing. We've actually seen a lot of the same cards we've already pulled. There's our Vulpix, and after that, we have a Reverse Hollow Growlithe. Our last hit then for the box. Let's see what it is. It's just a regular Hisuian Lilligant. We can't be mad, though. First of all, two Radiant cards down. I don't know how many are in this box, but not bad odds at all to get two out of the X amount. And I like that one, especially Alakazam. You win, bro. You win. These other two hits, too. Like, check this out. We got the Duralud on VMAX. And I have, yeah, I've never seen one of these cards in person. It's interesting that this isn't textured, this part of the card. It's almost like just flat. And then this part is kind of raised up a little bit where it's gold. So it's interesting with the design. That's pretty cool. I think there is as well a Rayquaza VMAX. So we had to, of course, pull the literal tower, bro. And then we have one of our trainers. We got the judge. So we can't complain. And you can see there's quite a lot of different variations of that holo pattern coming into play here. And I like to see that. That looks really cool. All right, but guys, there we go. That was a little look at Silver Tempest. Not bad for the amount of packs we opened. We got lots of interesting, good little cards. So many more that still locked away within the set that we are going to be opening once the set releases. I think in about two weeks time from here. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. And I really hope you did enjoy this one. Now, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go shred the Alakazam. I'll be right back.